Bookworms, welcome back to another Read Aloud. As you know, we always have interesting stories to tell you every week and we have themes to go with it. Our theme for this month is still on nature and the title of our story today is Look Up by Aditi Dilip and illustrated by the same person, Aditi Dilip. As you can see in this first page, we have the sky with clouds and plants. Hmm, let's see what the story is about. Flying across the morning sky are birds in a hungry mood. Spot the one who has caught a yummy worm for its food. Let's see if we can find it. I think I've seen it. Have you? Let's keep going. Butterflies of different colors are fleeting flower to flower. But there's one that stands out because it's one color all over. Can you see the butterfly that just has one color? I see it. Have you? Let's keep going. A cheerful bunch of kites is merrily hopping about, but one's not quite the same. Can you find the odd one out? Hmm, can you? I can see it too. Let's keep going. Big and small squares are shapes you see everywhere. There's one grill that's different. Where is it hidden? Here or there? Hmm. Did you notice the difference? Let's keep going. Look among the green leaves of this big old tree. There's a branch with a speck of color. Wherever can it be? Can you see the different color in the tree? I see too. Planes flying across the sky leave behind a straight trail, but one of them is rather odd and instead makes a curvy tail. Can you see the plane that made a curvy tail instead of a straight one? I can see it too. A line of chattering birds are sitting above. Can you see? But one likes to be quiet. Whichever could it be? Can you see the bird that likes to chatter? Yes, I can. A flock of white clouds gleams on a bright summer day, but one decides to be rainy and doesn't care what the others say. Can you see the rainy cloud? I can see it too.
A long day is done, and the night has just begun. Of all the street lights, find one that shines like the sun. Bats sleep when the sun is out and wake when it's night. Can you find the odd one who is still sleeping tight? Can you see the bat who is still asleep? I can. Outer space has many planets, shiny and brightly lit. Spot one that's unique because it has a ring around it. Can you spot the planet that has a ring around it? This might take a little while. Oh, here it is. And that is the end. Thank you, Bookworms, for listening to this interesting story. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next story. Have a lovely day.